Hey guys, Lycos Lord here, and welcome back to Tome, Terrain of Magical Expertise. All right, we did the Tellurian City uh, event last time, and unfortunately we lost. We lost to the Cast of Dreams. So now it's a training day. Well, we're gonna train at the dojo, and then we're gonna focus on the event. But beforehand, we're gonna do a one-on-one -on -one with Tiger Lily. Uh, oh, there it goes. Morning, pal. How you feeling? Wow. Is this like Skype? I'm okay. How about you? <laughs> Honestly, this kind of looks like a mix between like Discord and Skype. I'm gonna call it Skype to make people cringe. Not gonna lie, I'm disappointed. But it's not your fault. It's none of your guys' faults, really. I made the choice to help you all out, and what happened, happened. But we're not out of the woods yet. That said, I want to talk to also, you. Also, I like the fact that her profile picture is like a super, like, messed up picture of a cat. So, look, you know what my goal is here, but your friends don't. I don't. Now. I'm willing to keep doing you this favor, because you've done a lot for me over these last few weeks. And we've got one last shot to make this happen. Before we carry on, though, you need to make a very important decision so we can move forward. And that's if you either want to keep up this charade, for the sake of not causing them any trouble, or if you want to tell them the truth. It all depends entirely on what you think is the right thing to do. I know this isn't an easy decision, so think it over. You know what? Oh, wow. We're actually kicking this off with, like, a very important decision. Honestly, like, what I would do in this situation is I would be honest with them. I'm going to tell them the truth. That's fair. We've both been basically lying to them for all the time we've known him. Now that we're so close to this make-or-break kind of moment with the last regional event, I get why you'd want to be honest with your guild. All cards on the table. Let's fucking go. I'm assuming we're going to tell them that's like, hey, I'm actually a white ha hacker. What that means is I'm a good hacker. These are the kind of hackers like Google would hire for like security reasons and all that, in case you don't know. But remember, both what I know about those hackers and what you've been doing to stop them, no matter how good our intentions are, yep. it could all get us in big trouble. Are you sure you want them to know that? Yes. I'm sure. They deserve to know. D oh, I got All it. right. I'll trust you. I don't necessarily know what'll happen, but I promise I'll back you up either way. Dude, this is actually intense. Like, I want to see how this plays out. You're really cool. They're lucky to have you on their side. Well, that settles it then. Thanks for letting me get this off my chest. Let's round them up and meet at the hub town. I'll see you there. Oh, I thought like we were gonna duke it out 1v1. I thought, okay, I didn't think it was just gonna be a one-on-one -on -one Skype call. <laughs> God, who even uses Skype? Actually, I can't say that. I, I, know, I have a friend who she still uses Skype. Last I checked anyway. Oh, oh I like these guys. Oh, ah, oh, I always love seeing all the characters here. Yo. Finally, the shop in Gold Hatton Square is selling items again. But even better, a traveling merchant is selling new stuff. I just got me a really good new power-up. <laughs> oh, good to know. Cool. I've got crap tons of money. Whoa, who's this Monokuma-looking motherfucker? It's like an alien, but you it's You guys Monokuma. ever had to keep a secret because you knew it might affect your friends in a bad way? Yeah. People are completely entitled to their privacy. Not everyone has to know absolutely everything about you. Maybe. But if it were something that could hurt them, personally, I think it's better if they know the truth. Yeah, that, that's how I am. I agree with you. Also, it's kind of weird because um, the eyes are backwards. <laughs> if you look at the picture and then you look at their uh, like character model. Right. With their, the eye was backwards. Also, this guy kind of reminds me of um, the fire guy from uh, My Hero. I don't remember his name. The guy you keep wanting to call Incineroar. Editor me, you know the character. Please. Any word on what the goal for this week's campaign event is? I don't know much about it, 
but I hear it's gonna be pretty different. Apparently you gotta register your guild ahead of time to even qualify. What the hell? I better get on that. Thanks. Let's see what these Have two Have you guys dudes. ever had to tell someone a secret you were really worried was gonna ruin your friendship? Yeah. <laughs> Not me. I ain't got nothing to hide. But if people can't handle some good old blunt honesty, forget them. I've always been a little afraid to let people know everything about me. But true friends will stick with you, no matter what. At least, I think so. Thanks. Yeah, no, that's... That's totally correct. Oh, I like that CD guy down there. Oh, he's cute. You there! I struck oh. out on even qualifying for the last three campaign events. But this time will be different. What do you say? Do you join my crew? Sorry, but I've already got a guild I'm part of. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Also, I noticed how we have another, like, black and white alien thing. And then we have this black and white alien thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa! The last week of the campaign of champions! Who's that lucky winning team Being gonna be? Taco. I gotta say, no, I gotta say. What's the deal with the final event taking place on Orange Island? Oh, yeah. If they saved it for Teluria City, it would have been E-M-O-T. Uh, emo oh. I see. Okay, this brown dude kind of reminds me of Terrier Model. Is that a freaking talking bowl of ramen? I woke up very early this morning, and I have never been more hungry for ramen in my entire life. Common ramen, I love... Yo, common ramen, or your creator, if you're out there watching this, I love your characters. I love their design, and I love the name. That's amazing. Gee, I wonder why. Oh, frick you, Borpus. I love him. Oh, this guy's cool. Uh, again, I'm like never disappointed by like any of the characters here. Like they're all cool in their own unique way. Uh, I believe I go this way. I'm assuming this is Orange Isle. Please don't tell me what's wrong. Oh, hey, I saw you before. Well, Mulberry's gonna be erupting at the end of the week. So before the island gets destroyed by the volcano, I'm gonna do what I never had the courage to do before. What's that you're thinking? I'm sitting here and just relaxing. Hmm. Neat. So, okay, we have a spawn pool. Or we have a point. Souvenirs. What will it be, Fran? These what you need? Whoa, perfect herb. Fully recalls with the help of one part of it. Whoa. Here you go, friend. Thanks, man. Why do you kinda of remind me of butters? Here you go, friend. You kinda of remind me of butters from like South Park. Here you go, friend. Here you go, friend. Here you go, friend. All right, anything else that's... Oh, cool, you can just buy these now. Oh, wow. Here you go, friend. Here you go, Thank friend. God I have all that money. Need anything else? See you around. Wow. All right, hey guys, hey. sorry I'm late. Sorry I'm late, but I'm good to go. Great. Just missing Tiger Lily now. Oh crap, was I supposed to go to Dojo first? Shit. No, you're not. Flame Girl can now use Rainbow Flame. Nyla can now use Black Ice Blitz. Kerbifer can now use Power Beam. Alpha has Curse of Cerberus. Gamsoft has Computer Virus. And Tiger Lily now has Jungle Blast. Sorry we were both lagging behind a little. Glad to hear you guys got your homework done. Uh, I didn't. Oh, fuck. And then so. Apparently the rules of this one work a little differently than the others. So let's take a look, now that we're all together. I goo. Oh, crap. I made a mistake. At least I got those power-ups, though, because I want to slap those on everyone. <laughs> Greetings, salutations, and all manners of a warm welcome, warriors of the terrain. It is I, Empress Kinder Spirit. 
I hope you're all taking in the gorgeous surroundings of my Orange Island paradise. I am communicating to you all from my penthouse suite atop the ever-so-comfortable Honeydew Hotel. The power of astral projection is just one of the many abilities I acquired when I gave up my physical form eons ago. Unfortunately, I made a little boo-boo. As it turns out, the charred remains of my body that I sacrificed to Mount Mulberry have cursed the island. Oh, no. But this is not just any curse. I wish it were only taking away a few hit points from the island every turn. Then I could simply rain some purifying droplets and relieve the land. <laughs> but no, sadly, it's far worse than that. This curse is going to cause the eruption of Mount Mulberry's volcanic core in just seven short short days. <laughs> the overflowing lava will scorch the entire island and erase it in a burning blaze of death. Oh! But fret not, for there is still hope, and that hope lies within all of you, my lively and spirited warriors. I have kept a close eye on the activity occurring within the regions that surround my precious island. I'm well aware of the many talented guilds that have sought to rid the Adotus Woods of the Shadow Beast, expel the parasite of Morganite Valley, and usurp the dictator of Telluria City. Many would-be heroes have gone unrewarded throughout those trials, but this might just be your shining moment. I have informed a slew of my adorable spirit guides to keep a close eye on all guilds within the island's vicinity, and over the next six days, they shall be judging each and every one of you for the deeds you do, both the good and the bad. Be mindful of every action you take. On the sixth day, based on the collective total of good and bad deeds that each warrior commits, a total of four guilds will be selected to enter the mouth of Mount Mulberry to retrieve my remains and dispel the horrible curse on Orange Island. Will it be you and your friends? Only time and your decisions will tell. But know that I believe in all of you, for the fate of my precious island lies within the choices you make. So please, don't let me down. Though we are in a desperate situation, just remember these sage words. When things get tough, just look for that silver lining. <laughs> She looks way different than what she did in the show. An entire region of the terrain being desecrated by an unending sea of molten magma? This quest sounds to be the most perilous of them all! Ah, so the big thing that separates this one is that only four guilds will even get to compete. That, and it sounds like we have to register up front, you know, instead of waiting until we meet the requirements like the last three. Cause, cause, okay, in regular tome, she's more like your, like, classic angel. Unlike here, she looks more like a like a gin. It must be really That's down to the cool. wire then. If they're only allowing so many guilds to compete, having the guilds register ahead of time must make it easier for them to keep track. Wow. Well, in that case, I guess it's a good thing we met you in the last one. <laughs> it's gotta be destiny. All right. Let's take care of the next step. All right. Let's go register. Welcome, warrior of Tome. Are you here to register you and your guild for the Campaign of Champions 4th Regional Event? Yes. Please register the name of your guild and number of members. Seven of the us. The Dandy Alliance Plus. Seven members. Your bravery is much appreciated. Your guild of seven members has been registered. In order to compete in the Orange Island Regional Event, you must accomplish an impressive number of good deeds in the eyes of Empress Kinder Spirit's vassal designated to your party. That's cool. Hiya, hiya. Better be good or I'll tell on you. Remember, I'm always watching. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of um, if anyone here has watched um, Emperor had text-to-speech device. It reminds me of Mini Magnus. It is I, Mini Magnus. <laughs> <laughs> the four him. guilds that will compete in the fourth event shall be selected and announced by end of day on the sixth day of the week. Good luck to you all. Sweet. I need to talk to the dojo because I didn't do that because I forgot. Like an idiot. I don't know what it is, but I'm feeling really good about this week. We're gonna do this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I... 
Dragon. Nylock, Dragon of Colossal Confidence! believes wholeheartedly that the Dandy Alliance Plus will prove itself to be the noblest of guilds in the eyes of Empress Kinder Spirit and her ghostly guides. What shall our first mission be, Guildmaster? The world is our oyster in this case. Uh, the island is anyway. Sounds delicious. <laughs> in essence, all we need to do is split up into groups again and take on as many missions as we possibly can over the next few days. Hmm. They range from taking out enemies, to finding treasures, to helping certain NPCs, etc, etc. But you'll also be ranked for how well you accomplish the mission, too. Since we have seven members from the get-go this time, I say we try some bigger groups. At least three or four. So we can cover some decent ground each day and be well-equipped. Because these'll probably be the hardest tasks we've had to go through yet. I've got a small handful of missions already lined up that I researched about this morning. So I'll send out a few emails to everyone for some suggestions. Otherwise, Starting tonight, grab a few folks and start hitting up as many areas as possible. At every turn, there will be something you can do to add up to our good deed count. So let's do as much as we can up until the sixth day. Any questions? Sounds good to me. Yep, no questions here. Indeed, this night shall dedicate mind, body, mind, and soul night and day to the cause. Same, and I made sure to have nothing else going on this week. So I'll be around for whenever you guys need me. Nice. Great. Then I say we take a little break and then get back to work. Actually, not so much a question, but we've got to talk about something real important. Juicy drama, juicy. Dude, that's a, that's juice, man. Oh, sure, go ahead. Well, let's lay our cards on the table. <sighs> I don't even know where to start, but I need to be the one to start because a lot of this links back to me. Your whole guild's been built on trust, which is fantastic. I super commend you for that, but the truth is, I haven't been 100% honest with you guys. What about exactly? Okay, there's no easy way for me to say this, so I'm sorry in advance for being blunt about everything. What I haven't been honest about is why you guys have been up against such overwhelming odds since the Campaign of Champions started. This whole competition is being rigged by a bunch of malicious hackers. What? Neither you nor any other individual player and guild alike have had a truly fair shot of winning, except for the three winners of the last few regional events. Oh my god, I knew it! We could never prove it, but those little cheating brats, they were hackers! Yeah, no shit. No, you're wrong. I know Saturn Diva and Snow Whitey. They'd never do something like this. I'm sure they wouldn't. They probably just don't know they're being manipulated. Two of their newest guild members helped their team cheat. And it goes a lot deeper than that. Raccoon of the Troublemakers and Dust Bunny and Raven Freak of the Cast of Dreams are Black Hat hackers and they were all hired by one person for the same purpose. To lose in the final competition against that same person in question. Oh my god, it's fucking Zeto, isn't it? It's Zeto, isn't it? <laughs> wow. Yes. Damn. How do you know all this? The short version is... We used to be close, Zeto and I. We were both beta testers. Knew a few people from NetKing Software, and we were both pretty involved in some programming communities online. He knew a lot of people on the, we'll say, less than moral side of things. Oh. That's how I'm familiar with a lot of folks in that world, and it's how I know what he's been up to. He hired all of those hackers from a little underground site called Debuggers. I've been keeping track of his activity by lurking around the job listings on their forum. It all makes sense. And the fact that the players are all entering from home, there's no way for the developers to know for sure that anyone is cheating. It gives them a huge advantage to do whatever they want and completely get away with it. You've known about this since the beginning? So, you're one of them too? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. She hasn't done anything wrong. I didn't, oh god, because both of them were so no. good. You're a hacker, aren't you? 
it's true. There's no use hiding it anymore. You've both been using us this entire time, haven't you? I haven't. No, listen. If you should blame anyone for this, it's me and me alone. I asked them to help me, and you guys were never intended to be dragged into this. It just happened to work out that way. I... I selfishly wanted to beat Zeto at his own game by countering his cheating crap and even out the odds. So I called in the one person I could depend on for something like this, while I gave updates on anything I could sniff out. So, we got caught up in this just because of that one day we happened to cross paths? But, Hattie, you stuck around. This is ridiculous. What was the point of all this, huh? None of us could have really helped you stop any of these guys, so yeah, why stick around? Tell me! Uh... Because you guys are my friends! Yeah, I don't... We kept secrets from you all, yes. But what we have told you is the truth, including everything we've done up to this point. I took the request to come join your guild because there was a genuine intent to try and get this team to the top. By cheating? It's not like that. I had no choice. We had to fight fire with fire or else Zeto's gonna laugh all the way to the winner's circle with no one to stand in his way. We had a talk this morning and ultimately we decided that the right thing to do was to tell you everything. I know this must be hard to hear, but now that you know the truth, is there anything else you want to say? Whoa. Damn it. That's a now hell I'm of a bomb I'm the one who drop. doesn't even know where to start. That, yeah, I mean, it's a hell of a bomb to drop. I only have one question for you two. Sure. Does this change anything? What do you mean? About our odds. Does this change anything about the odds of not just us, but any other guild actually winning? Like I said last time, I don't know for sure. Zeto's plan was to have the other three guilds in the final competition either take the fall on purpose or be bogged down with duds that'll cause them to lose in the end. So no matter what happens, he'll be guaranteed victory. But there is a distinct advantage we have in that there's a white hat on our side to help stand a chance against the black hat hackers. It's still not a guarantee, but it's something that may get us as far as the finals. Maybe even beyond that. Then as far as I'm concerned, this changes nothing. The only difference is now we're all on the same page. If we still have even a sliver of a chance to take home the prize, I'm taking it. As long as you guys are all in. That includes you two. Um, Guildmaster, art thou sure this is the only course of action we can take? I mean, unfortunately, it's like, like what, can, what other options are there? We don't have any other options. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Please allow me to start listing the many other options. Number one, we tell NetKing Software that three out of the four finalist teams for their competition with several thousand dollars at stake are using illegal methods to win those dollars in question. You know what'll happen if we do that. Um, they'll be dropped from the campaign? No. And then the campaign itself will be dropped too. There's no way it wouldn't be at this point if a scandal like that broke out. And we're in a short time frame here. Yeah. Maybe so, but think about it. Just the act of us knowing about this whole thing and not doing something about it, wouldn't that in some way make us accomplices to a crime? There is a risk of us getting into hot water. It's one that I've been taking since the beginning and I'm sticking by it. But it's not necessarily something I'd blame the rest of you for not wanting to do. Uh... Staff, <laughs> what do you want to do? You already know the answer. <clears throat> Guildmaster, this knight still has a promise to keep in order to serve the purpose of which the Dandy Alliance was first formed. That promise has not been forgotten. However, lies would be uttered if certain reservations were not spoken of. I know. I'm sure all of you have good reasons to be uncomfortable. I get that. So, this is it. This is where you all need to decide right here, right now. If you're in or out. Um, no pressure? Can we not even have just the day to think about this? No, we, we don't, don't have time, have dude. Time. That break I suggested? I'm doing that now. And then I'm immediately putting the next five straight days into getting entry to that event. If this is the line for you guys, then I understand. But I'm not quitting. 
This night is stricken with utter confliction. We can't just give up. Guys, this is our last shot. We're so close. Mm -hmm. I know, but this sucks. This is like the actual worst thing right here. I, I don't know what to do. I'm echoing her sentiment. My goal's still set and I'm going for it, regardless of how this turns out. If you guys want me on board, I'll stay. Steph, I'm so sorry. I don't want to just up and leave, but... I said before, Dude. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Even if that means not playing entirely by the rules. Especially if our direct competition isn't either. Hell, they're making the rules into their plaything. But we still have a chance. That said, if this is where the Dandy Alliance has to come to a close, I'll understand if any and all of you want to leave. God damn. Holy. It sounds like you, me, and Tiger Lily are all in favor. And Curb Nine Softy aren't quite sure. Is that about right? Yeah. We're literally split down the middle. Not really. Except I mean, me. Hi. It's down to you, pal. What do you. I want to finish what I started. Yeah. I. I must confess something. Whoa, that's rare. No title? <clears throat> Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Several weeks ago, while questing in the forest maze of the Adotis Woods, the troublemakers insinuated that Squire Hat possessed powers similar to theirs and seem to be quite weary of this. In thanks to the assistance being lent to the Alliance, a blind eye was turned. Wow, I didn't even think about that. I never realized what was happening that day. With the situation being made clear now, despite the shades of gray that clouds this night's sense of right and wrong, perhaps it was thanks to Squire Hat's intervention from the shadows that we ever had a chance of overcoming this hidden enemy. Yeah. Even on our first day, when we both logged in and met you guys, the troublemakers were caught off guard then too, and Raven Freak and Dust Bunny, when we had to deal with them. Yeah, I, I think that first time though, I think I fucked up and still lost, I think. I guess, when you think about it, we've really all just been doing the same thing since the beginning, even if we didn't know. Maybe that doesn't necessarily make it right, but we are fighting for a good cause, aren't we? Sure. But does that make us self-righteous and selfish to put our good cause above everyone else's? I mean, who's to say some other guilds competing that we haven't even met yet aren't out there trying to win that prize money for something equally important? You could totally make that argument, but these are the facts. Either we give it the best shot we possibly can to beat all the odds, or Zeto just wins. It's one or the other. And with even just the tiniest chance of winning, I'm not going to let the latter happen if I can help it. We made our choices on what we thought was the right thing to do. So now, it's all of your calls to make. And Steph said we ain't got much time. So what's it gonna be? At the end of the day, I think we're doing something good for someone else. And this is the first chance I've had in a long time to do that. I'm staying. <sighs> He's staying, I'm staying too. This night left one guild behind in order to fulfill a vow of the utmost importance. To be a hero to someone in need, I, Nylok, Master of Everlasting Loyalty! I thought he was going to drop his his actual title. Shall not abandon mine comrades when they are in need. You helped me in a time when I needed someone, and I owe it to you to see this through, so I will. Guys, if anything goes wrong, and I mean horribly wrong, I'll take full responsibility. And I promise, when this whole ordeal is said and done, I'll pay you all back for what you've given me. Thank you. We're all in this together, no matter what happens. If we all get arrested, hopefully they'll put us in the same cell. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny! Okay, it's kind of funny. No, I, fuck you, Curb. That was funny. That settles it then. The game's still on. I'll send off that email as soon as I can, and then let's start racking up some good deeds for the Empress. Dandy Alliance Plus, break. Damn, that went pretty well. Well, it's done. That went shockingly well. I went Tiger Lily on this one. Like, yeah, that went really well. My heart was pounding the whole time. Yeah. Seriously, I didn't want to go back on your decision, but I had a mind the guild was going to break up. You were right in the end, though. Before, 
when it felt like it was just us against the not-so-nice hackers, it didn't seem as bad. Now that your friends are roped into this, even I'm getting nervous. Hmm. It all feels real, like really real. Damn. <sighs> We may be hackers, but we'll still make their dreams come true. Yeah, no pressure, right? Well, let's make good on our word. We've got a lot of work to do. Oh man, I, I need to go to the dojo because I didn't do that. Damn, it's another one. It's another one of these at times where it's just like, yeah, all cards on the table. Oh, okay. Okay, let's do a few missions. Attention Dandelions Plus members. We've got just over four days to get to the top of Kinder Spirit's nice list. Based on the research I did the other day between training, I found a handful of missions. Cytron Shipwreck has a ghost of an old sailor looking for a lost pendant that will allow him to pass in the next world. Tomorrow Leo Town is overrun with some villains. They're terrorizing citizens. Likey Lagoon is having a festival and needs some helping hands. And Honeydew Hotel has an NPC looking for a bit of personal assistance. Those are just a few off the top of my head, but I'll look out for any others. Also remember that for each of these missions, you'll be ranked on how, on how well you do them. So it's between the easy way and the hard way. Take the latter. Good luck, Flame Girl. Uh, what's this one? Hey guys. Hey guys, it's Tiger Lily. Figured now that you're all up to speed, I'd let you know some kind of updates that I've been letting our little white hat know about. I did a little more digging around on what Zeto's next move is, and apparently I've got some blame to take. He's pretty butthurt about the fact that I joined up with you guys. Guess he kept a close eye on the other teams going up against the cast of Dreams the other day. He's whipping out the big guns and hearing a whole, and hiring a whole team's worth of hackers to take you to to take up the last spot of the competition. There'll definitely be a major obstacle. Stay alert while you're out on missions this week. You know who. I want to do this shipwreck. That sounds cool. I'm happy to try this at the Citron shipwreck missions. A few others can come along. Let me know. Apply. Yar, matey. I come along for the booty on this one. I like the booty. It's right there and I go squish squish. And I, it's mine. All mine. I'll put myself down. <laughs> See, a little bit of lighthearted right after like a very serious moment. Oh my God, there's so many people to talk to, oh, Jesus. Look at all these cool dudes. What up dudes? Heading to the Citron shipwreck today. Got any tips for things to be on the lookout for? Oh, that place is fun. Whoa. There's a whole bunch of treasure ships scattered all around. It's perfect for exploration. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah, but mixed into those treasure boxes are some mimic crabs. They're way tougher than the mimic clusters in Morganite Valley, so take them out with a technical attack. Fast. Thanks. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Red. Uh, hey, have you run into a glitch where suddenly the elements get reversed? Like a huh? crystal attack causing double damage to a technical player? A friend of mine swears that happened to him this morning. Hmm. I'll keep a lookout for that. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, huh, weird. Everyone thinks I'm just a conspiracy theorist. But the lore of this game makes me think that the Neck Kings are the real bad guys here. There's all these finer details in their history that seem glossed over. Never overlook what could be a clue to the truth. Thanks for the advice. Also, trust me, you're probably not the only conspiracy theorist around here. <laughs> I hope that's because I did fight uh, Matt Pat and uh, Team Theorist way back when. Episode right there. There. Yeah, that one. Man, oh man. Did you believe that the end all be all actually makes time to just go out and play against peons like us? Yeah, Zeto's pretty unbelievable. I hear some people get scared and run off when they see him, but I jump at the chance to take him on. You're not the only one. Yeah, we fought him. Heard of any new guilds that are entering this final regional event? There's one guy I'm definitely keeping my eye on. Goes by Neo Mutant. He hadn't entered any of the previous events. Oh fact, shit! I think Neo he Mutant. only just formed his guild of four players the day before this one started. Neo Mutant, huh? I'll uh, remember that. Shit. Thanks. Yeah. Again, why my eyes? Why I went up on that is because yeah, he's from the he's from the series. This guy kind of looks like one of those uh, morphing things from uh, My Little Pony. Cool robot boy. 
Oh shit, I kind of forgot about Neo Mutant, even though he's kind of important to the story, whatever. Also, this robot guy, I swear I've seen him before. Like, I want to say I've seen him previously, but whatever. Alright. Alright, so this is the little balcony area. So, I'm actually going to wrap this episode up here, because it is getting a little on the longer side, and I want to try and keep these around that 30 minute uh, time frame. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying Tome, because I am loving this game. Like, again, like... I love how it can like do like those very serious moments and then like you can have like a lighthearted bit like near the end of it or like afterwards kind of like how like Hattie replies like yar har let's go like I don't know that's just so like the storytelling is like I love that they can do that so well like I, I know I've said that like a hundred times now but like it's whenever I see that done well it's always like oh that's so cool I love when that happens so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I if you want to keep up with what's going on in the series, dro drop a sub and click the bell so that way you get notified when new episodes come out. And yeah, I think that'll be it for this one, guys. So as always, guys, good vibes till next time, y'all. Lycos.